Man, that big ass box is just this. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, yo, what's good, you hypers? Welcome back to the channel. Say what's up to the camera, buddy. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little too bright for him. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I know you guys saw the intro. Like, that's a true, honest intro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I already took a peek at the shoes, and guys, they are so sick. Like, this sneaker blows my mind like how much technology is advanced and how dope it is let me just get straight to the point and just start showing it to you guys because i don't want to keep rambling on about i know me i'm going to ramble on like i'm doing right now so i'm just going to go ahead and get straight to the sneaker i'm sure you guys have probably seen the review before but i would say stick to this one not because it's mine obviously but because i'm gonna get into reasons on why you should keep the sneaker anyways let me get into reviewing the sneaker this is the box of the sneaker i, I know you guys saw the beginning clip where the box that it came in that nike shipped it in was huge i thought the box was going to be huge like that but but when you move the box around you can hear it moving in there so that's when i realized it's going to be a little smaller and then you guys can see the box took some damage because obviously the box was too big i don't know why they didn't make the box smaller or get a smaller box kind of sucks but not really a big deal so let me go ahead and show you guys how the box comes out so you pretty much slide the sleeve off and you have the same design on the inside you have the size tag down here so it's always visible and on the back i don't think you have anything at all just plain black so this sleeve just slides off let me tell you guys I did not think the sneakers was gonna be that dope because when I got the Nike Hyper Adapts, they weren't that all that sick last year. Like they were whatever, they were self lacing, cool technology. We saw the Nike Air Mags, but when I got the sneaker for the seven hundred and twenty dollar price tag or seven fifty, whatever it was, it just was not worth it. So this one is less than half the price, if not half the price, and I think it's a lot cooler because of like certain things that I'm gonna get into. So the box itself, on top, it's covered with a swoosh. You have the handle, of course, to carry the box around. I mean, if you want to do that. And then it says Nike Adapt Earl BB. Earl, it's something about the electronics lacing system. And BB stands for basketball. So if you guys ever get confused about the whole video, BB means for basketball, if you guys didn't know that already. So to open the box, you have to go ahead and slide these things out. It's on both sides of the box. So it's like just a little flap like, that holds the box down. And then after, I think you can just grab the top and it slides right off. So it kind of reminds me of the Nike Air Mags. I never had them, but I've seen the unboxing of them. When you open the box, the shoes are standing. So that's pretty dope. Usually shoes come sideways in a box, but these come standing. So that's super dope to me. The presentation off the bat is dope. And this is the actual sneaker itself, guys. The first thing I noticed was that it kind of reminds me of the Nike Hyper Adapt. Like it feels like it, the material on top. But my main concern when I got the sneaker was gonna be the weight of it, because since it is a basketball sneaker, it has to be light like basketball sneakers can't be heavy i mean they can be but they're obviously not like most people prefer a lighter sneaker so they can be more agile when they play so the next thing i noticed was that it has shoe inserts which was pretty dope to me that means you don't have to buy the shoe trees that i usually buy that i've made another video i'm sure you guys have seen them if you guys are sneaker heads it actually has two so it has one for the toe and then it has the other one for the structure of around the ankle going to detail the sneaker you have nike stitching on this mesh pattern it's pretty much just like an overlay because if it wasn't there you'd be able to see the whole lacing system i think yeah you can see the whole lacing system right there in the little peak i think it's on all over the bottom of this so it's pretty much just a cover and this right here is a little heel counter so it does keep your heel up when you play basketball so that's very dope and then you have some plastic here so it's more reinforcement for when you play your foot doesn't just slide around the whole sneaker and then the sole is pretty firm the bottom it amazed me like you can hear that grip already off my fingers so imagine on the court i assume it's gonna have that grip unfortunately i'm not gonna test the sneakers out because i don't know what to do with these like if i keep them i'm definitely gonna try them out if i don't then obviously i'm not gonna wear them because then i can sell them and make profit off them which isn't much i mean it's a decent amount maybe probably like 75 dollars if i sell them to an independent seller not through StockX because StockX takes your fees so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i should do with the sneakers should i keep them or should i sell them what would you do actually would you keep them or sell them if you had them it's kind of hard to say if you haven't had the sneaker in hand because my opinion changed completely on the sneaker when i opened the box the easier thing about this sneaker versus the hyper adapt is that the hyper adapt to lace them up to tighten them you had to push the buttons that were on the inside and they were hard to get a feel for these now have a button and they're on the sides which makes it a lot more easier not only just to put them on i mean when you put them on they lace by themselves and apparently you can connect them to the app which you can control them from there as well i think i'm not exactly what you can do i haven't really connected it to the app but you can do some features like change the colors from what i've seen and adjust like certain types of tightness that you want so let's say if you're warming up you can select that one and it'd probably be a little looser and obviously when you go to go play 
it'll be even more tighter if you want to go outdoors and you can be even tighter or looser whatever your preference is you can definitely change on the app and it's pretty dope because they're preset settings so going back to the buttons you're gonna see them light up here just a bit you see how they're green that means the battery is good and this is loosening them but it's not letting me because i already loosened them all the way so that everybody put it on i'm not gonna lie I tried it on because i want to see how it was so going to tightening it they're not the same sound as the hyper adapts and they're not as loud these are actually a lot quieter i know you you guys remember when Nike Hyperdaps came out? It was like a loud squeal, like a loud screech that came out of the sneaker. And it was not pleasant. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't pleasant. This is more quieter, and I think it's dope. Like, honestly, the sneaker is, it blows my mind. There's more things I have to get into that's in the box that blows my mind even more, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But one more thing I wanted to get in about this is that the buttons. So the buttons on the side, it shows you the battery level and also tightens when you put your foot in there. But another thing is, so let's say you're playing on the court and maybe they loosen a little bit, or maybe you want them a little tighter. All you have to do, you don't have to stop the whole game. All you gotta do is raise your leg, push the button, tighten it, and you're good to go. You don't have to be like, yo, hold up, time out, or whatever, you know, hold the game up. You straight up, push the button and go. Like, it's so convenient. For $350, if you're a hooper, this is definitely a sneaker you would need if the performance is good on them. I can't tell you guys how the performance is. Like I said, I haven't tried them out on court yet, but if they're like comfortable, you don't get the blisters and all that other problems with that you get with basketball sneakers, the grip and all that, then I would say this sneaker is definitely recommended. And I say everybody would need this sneaker. Like I wouldn't even treat this as a basketball sneaker completely. And even if it is, everybody pretty much wears basketball, not everybody, but a lot of people, especially sneaker heads, wear basketball sneakers as a casual sneaker. And this could pass as a casual sneaker. The Hyper Adapts could as well, but I personally think that this one has a way more aesthetic look to it. Like it's more aesthetically pleasing. Like it's so nice compared to the last one. Like the other one was so bulky. This one's decently bulky as well, but that's all basketball sneakers. However, this one is actually like more sleek and I could possibly see myself wearing these like to have like that athletic look on the streets, you know, aside from obviously playing basketball on them, which I really would love to do, which I'm thinking about what I'm going to do now is probably just wear them and then return them to Nike and just forget about the profit because I'd rather you guys have content than me try to make money off of them. Like if you guys prefer me to actually try them out and like do a performance video on them, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely try them out. Like I don't even hoop like that, but I really would like to try them out and make, make a little video, ask other like sneaker heads or not even sneaker heads, but like the other people hooping, what they think about the sneaker, what they consider buying it or stuff like that. You know, more of a performance video, not much as of a review of the sneaker. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the sneaker. Now let me get into the box. Like the rest of the box actually like fascinated me because there were some details that are insane. So I know you guys remember last time when the Hyper Dax came out, the charger was like a little piece that would go onto the side or the bottom of the sneaker. And it was like two cords. It was too many cords, right? So what they did with this sneaker, which I think is dope as like as far as presentation and cleanliness and how easy it goes, it's literally just a pad. So I know you just saw me take that clear thing off. It went over this to hold the pad down. And this is actually what charges the sneaker. So all you really do is put the sneaker on top, I'm assuming, because there's no other charger. That's something this is what I'm assuming is how it charges. I haven't seen any other reviews. I'm kind of just going off what I can assume right now and what I see. So you pretty much just leave them on there. It looks like a scale. It's really not that heavy at all. Like it's pretty much like the weight of an iPad. If that, it's even lighter. So you put the sneakers on. I'm sure the lights will light up and tell you what their charge is. And then obviously when they're green, they're ready to go or you need to take them when they're yellow. And that's a good thing. Like they're a hooping sneaker. I'm sure the battery's not gonna die for every time you use them. So whenever you're done using them, you just put them back on the pad, they're charging. And then whenever you're ready to use them again, you just take them right off. I think that's super dope. Now, a question I had that before I got home, like I obviously opened this at my girlfriend's house, that's what you guys saw in the beginning of the clip, is would they fit in these boxes? So that's what I'm gonna test out right now. Cause then if it does, then you can actually finesse and put it in the box and then charge it. Well, after you put it in the box, obviously, and it's gonna be on top of this. And if you guys are wondering, by the way, how it charges, like obviously it's not just this. There's a little port in the back right there and the cable for that is right here. I'm assuming it's in here. I don't want to open it, like I said, because I don't want to like take that BS out of it just yet until you guys pretty much leave your suggestions down below. And I, I'm assuming the charger is there, the cable's in there as well, and it connects to this. So then all you have to do is make a hole in the back, feed the wire through the hole, put it in there, connect it, and then look at that. It fits just right. Like it's probably has about two centimeters or a centimeter on each side of the box. Obviously I can't take it out of the wall because then I'd have to move so much stuff and have a TV up there, it's just too much work. And usually how I set my sneakers, I'm sure there's no way it has to face. So 
once you're done wearing them you take them off and you put them in here and they fit just right like that's crazy so that's a cool presentation i mean you can even have it out maybe on display because it is something cool to display like people will probably come over and be like yo that's pretty dope but even in there it'll probably light up the box a little bit on the sides and stuff it might take some electricity but eh, who cares you can plug it if you want or whatever you want to do but just saying i am a size 8 so this might not work for everybody because obviously a size 8 smaller shoe maybe you have a size 9 you could probably just squeeze that in there at 10 i think you'd be pushing it and 11 and 12 those are big sneakers i wouldn't even probably dare to put them in there most people that i see have these boxes and have size 10 and 11 sneak or i'm sorry yeah 10 to 12 or anything above 10 they have to put them sideways so obviously you put these sideways they're not going to charge the charging is on the bottom and well the whole mechanism is all in here that's why it's decently thick and aside from that that's pretty much everything that's in the box like that's pretty much covers the whole review i definitely recommend every hooper gets this sneaker because this sneaker is only 350 dollars think about it you're gonna pay 150 dollars for a sneaker get the tie and maybe i mean you might have your favorite sneaker you might have Kyrie's. they're like 150 maybe 160 i don't know the exact price of them but they are cheaper you gotta tie them whatever but these are just like more convenient instead of like having to stop the game you just quickly tie them and i don't know i would say give these a try like they're light they're self-lacing they're cool they're nice aesthetically pleasing you can even wear them out and if they get dirty on the court the only thing that's white is a midsole that's the only part that's really gonna get dirty this you won't really notice it might tear who knows i don't know but i'm pretty sure nike definitely thought it out before making this sneaker a basketball sneaker like if the thing breaks they're definitely gonna i'm not gonna like i'm not speaking for nike but they're probably gonna be the ones that cover the warranty for any of the laces breaking but i'm pretty sure they're not like that's not gonna be a problem because first of all it's nike and second of all like they definitely thought that through like they have to know that the sneaker is going to be durable because it is a basketball sneaker especially that's how they advertise it the hyper adapt probably not unfortunately i'm not going to do on for review because i just kind of stopped doing those like a lot of people don't really care especially not for this sneaker this is like more of a basketball sneaker it's not really a casual sneaker but you can probably rock it as that like i said i would probably it's nice and i like how the swoosh goes down it's different most swooshes just come up here eh that's old that's old nike new nike goes down here i think it's dope i really mess with it there's actually three swooshes there's one here there's one there one there and there's nike there so they definitely let you know that nike made this sneaker and i didn't get to the insole but i'm gonna show you guys real quick i guess if i can get it out what it looks like it's really nothing crazy it's just some colorful spots. oh i don't know that's what's happening oh yeah so there's no glue there so it holds down this is pretty thick so you still have cushioning on the foot you might have that good comfort because even in between there it's actually pretty rock solid hard so this is basically all the comfort you get between your foot and all the electrical mechanism that's in here and yeah it's very minimal cushioning there on the toe i think you get a little more though i'm not gonna lie nine out of ten i'm sorry not ten out of ten nine out of ten would recommend this to everybody for 250 dollars i think it's well worth it like sneakers are already at 200 dollars they're gonna keep going up pretty much like inflation in the sneaker game anyways guys that's it for this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash a thumbs up on this video please i would appreciate that very much it would get this video out there and definitely recommend a lot more people to get it like i wish you guys could see it in person because it's so much more different than seeing it in pictures like i said i thought this was going to be like another hyper adapt but it's way more than that and technology is advanced and the pad and all that it's so cool how they charge and the lighting i don't know the comfort yet but i assume they're going to be great smash the thumbs up button and if you guys have any questions drop them down in the comments below if i left out anything ask me in the comments below i would definitely reply to you guys if this video doesn't go crazy because when it goes crazy it's kind of hard to keep up with everybody but even then i do try my best to do that if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so you guys do get notified every time i post a video and like i said if you guys do leave suggestions down in the comments i am more than happy to make those videos because that shows me that you guys want me to make videos and i'll make them in accordance to your liking anyways guys i said enough i will see you guys on the next hey. one make sure you guys keep grinding hey. it's your boy see you guys hey. out hey. 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 I get the pack, then I'm running out the back though. Bitch, why the fuck? But you need to keep them legs closed. I hear the stain, bitch. I'm down just like ten toes. No shit for free, bitch. Six bands for a damn show. Voicemail the bitch, can't be fucking with no opera.